Hey guys, just before I start this Brit Lane vlog, I'm just going to show you guys how I get my line to go both ways on a corner block. It's pretty simple. Um, I've got some real time voiceover uh, from today. So it's just, uh, I've got a few questions. So here's how you do it. It's pretty simple. So yeah, um, that was how you put the lines on both ways. You know, it's a pretty simple way to do it. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, welcome to another Ritling vlog. Uh, it's a fresh week. It is Wednesday. Um, it's just gone bank holiday. Um, we had the bank holiday Monday off in the UK. Uh, it's like a national holiday. And then uh, on the Tuesday, there was no mortar that turned up. And I did say last video I was going to go in and load up. But I didn't end up doing so. I just ended up having... Uh, an extra day off um, over the bank holiday. We've I've had a bit of an emergency on at home. Um, it's a bit embarrassing, but I thought I'd let you guys know just to just so you know. Remember, you guys have experienced this before. You know, everyone has pets. I've had cats for three years. Um, you know, we've kept up on flea treatments and stuff like that. But because they're indoor cats, you know, it's not something that you ever get with indoor cats a lot of the time. Fleas because they don't go outside. And um, we went away. Uh, I was just on holiday a couple of months ago and uh, to the seaside and we came back and somehow we picked up fleas whether it's been from uh, my missus's parents because they've got cats or somehow something's jumped into our onto our clothes from somewhere uh, because no one else has this this problem other than us and I've never had our cats have never had fleas before in their lives because they're indoor cats and They've contracted something uh, from somewhere and these fleas have ended up getting in the house for the last two months. We've not noticed them and they must have breeded and Jesus Christ almighty, we've got infested. Uh, how Our house needs fumigating at the weekend, so I've been trying to kill these bastards for like two or, th two or three weeks, anxious as hell, just thinking that they're going to jump on us and it's been it's been crazy i do not wish it on my worst enemy i thought i'd let you guys know why the content's been a bit infrequent i've had a pest control issue so we're getting the pros in at the weekend and uh, we're staying at a friend's place uh, for a couple of days and when you've got a two-year-old who's a bit scared don't know what's going on and you got a, you got a, you got a missus who's got phobia of bugs jesus christ almighty i do not wish this on anyone uh, so yeah, but I still managed to get a, a, you know managed to get some videos made and still get you know uh, with actually you know changing job. This is the third week on this job now. Um, obviously having having Jamie Jack up and then other labourers not got falling through and then the new lad starting. Jesus, been a stressful, been a stressful month. And then uh, oh god, vets and shit on top of things. You know we thought at first the cats had something wrong with him and then realized it were fleas but then when we realized we had, they had fleas it were too late and then the fleas had then had eggs and hatched oh my god and now my house is tidy like i keep everything tidy and i've had to literally gut the house we've got 20 bags of washing no all soft furnishings hot washed on hot wash now and jesus christ going to use industrial washers and shit to wash everything and the carpet's been steam clean and everything but nothing seems to kill these pesky little fleas i don't know I've never seen known fleas like it so obviously we have four cats and obviously it does encourage obviously i mean four four things for them to feast on but obviously you know we've got rid of the fleas on the cats but it's it's, it's too late it's too late so the pros are coming jesus i don't know how i've actually got anything done this week but i, I have um so yeah so this is first day back um i've been sort of working on three or four hours sleep been up up all hours trying to sort everything out so you know you're getting a little bit of slower harry uh in these videos you know just show goes to show you know something as simple as you know having pets and fucking contracting fleas from somewhere because they don't even seem like normal fleas they feel like some fucking foreign they feel like some african bot flies this is crazy but you know that you're um 
you know, it's, it's one of them things that can all outside, you know, outside of work can affect everything massively. So, you know, if, if, if your home life's a bit fucking going a bit rocky at some points, you know, with different issues, Jesus, it completely affects your productivity at work and, you know, sleep deprivation, Jesus. I remember when my little boy was just been born and he didn't sleep for six months properly and we were up in the night three or four times. It's, it's crazy, crazy stuff. So, you know, I feel for anyone out there. Don't get, don't let your son get down if you're not getting much done at work or you're fucking, you know, stressing you out a bit. You know, stuff get, stuff gets better. You know, life's full of ups and downs, and sometimes stuff can go down for a little bit and then it'll come back up again. So it's all fucking, it's all cycles. It's all goes in cycles. So yeah, a bit of a bit of an off topic, you know, first part of the commentary, but you know, I'm getting back to it. Doing some pick and dip here on this gable. I'll explain the build a bit. You know, this is the plot we took over, the second plot we took over. Um, basically, the, the lad who uh, took this plot, he did... He did six coastal block, work all the way around, plus the beam fill, all the way around. He missed loads of his ties, and he'd shoved a few in himself. He'd sort of spaced the ties too far apart, so they're meant to be every 750. That's a block and a half, uh, or a block and three quarter, you know, whatever it is on a 440. Um, and he'd been putting it at, at every 900 um so you know and then he missed loads off so like, this is a plot i've had to and he's can you see he's got straight joints on his on his beam fill and i wasn't going to about to take all of his gable down you know i, I already had to took 400 bricks off this plot i already had to take about 40 blocks off drill about 25 tie wires you know i've had to book hours and hours a day work to alter this plot and I just said to the guy, you know, I said, I'll just do what we can get away with. And, you know, so the damage isn't too bad. And I said to the subby, you know, I'll just do what I can get away with, you know. Luckily, these plots get expected at roof. So, you know, it's, yeah, it's just is what it is with this plot, you know. Obviously, straight joint of your beam fill, since these are a block and a break, it isn't any, it's no big deal. You know, obviously, straight joint, obviously, everyone does that have a beam fill, but... Um, it, you know, you can't. Sometimes it can't be helped, but you know, this guy, this lad, had no, no idea really. It was just a bit of a chancer. Um, it missed his tie wires, so I had to put full course tie wires drilled in and gobbled in. You know, so God forbid I had my drill. It's just been a nightmare of a plot this one to start off with. But you know, all the alterations are done now. You know, we're all fresh start this week. Um, got to site about half seven, quarter to eight this morning. I've been a bit late, obviously, because of lack of sleep and what's been going on at home with the fucking pest con pest situation. Um, so um, I got there and we had two packs of bricks on the loading bay. So I had to load a pack of that, that those out before I could get any mortar. And then the old man, he was an hour late because he got stuck in uh, on the A1 on the motorway and then and then by the time I even picked up a trowel and started putting mortar to the wall, it was basically half nine. Uh, I had to set profiles up, boards up, and then I started building this back corner with some more step trays. This this plot particularly has two lots of step trays on the back and the front, uh, just at different angles and different degrees. But it's you know they're only you know it's only foot five two five or four fifty with step trays. Um, so it's not too bad, it's not too bad of an, you know, not too awkward, but, you know, as you can see, you know, it, it does slow you down a little bit, but uh, I've been building big corners when it comes to these plots because the bricks do tend to wobble when you go above anything above 12 or 15 course and it can start to rock around, so I've been building big corners. I should have built this corner bigger, actually, when I was doing it. I only tailed out 12 and a half bricks when I, and it got me a 24 course corner. Uh, I only needed to go 23, uh, but I should have probably tailed out probably like 15 bricks and really tailed out. Um, if, I'd, if I'd have done this pot previously, I'd have gone around building little small corners the day before so I could set profiles up, but I had to build one side with the level and one side with a line um, for this one in particular because it's where you have a big steel that goes across and then, you've, then your house reduces from the garage and then reduces through over your big RSJ you know with your step tray so obviously if i'd known him previously i'd have built a little six course corner at each uh, on each lintel and then i'd have you know just run uh obviously after i'd done that i'd just set profiles up and run to the expansions on uh on on some of the corners and um 
and then basically then put profiles on the next day and then tailed everything out properly with profiles but you know i'm just getting used to how these build and how what i can get away with it with these bricks because they do sink quite you know they, they are one of them bricks that you know if they're wet you know you can't really lay more than six or eight course these were not too bad but as you can see yeah, obviously the head cam was a bit of an off angle and i was sort of nose bleeding for these first you know three course so after after this first three course you can sort of see the brickwork a bit better um so you know these these were all right you know i put like a 23 course corner up uh without any sort of rocking or any sinking issues you just gotta obviously don't put too much mortar on in between in between these conny bricks you know you've got to be really really steady with them uh, as you can see i'm picking and dipping these pretty swift swiftly but i was getting i'm just getting more used to it and it's all about the mortar as well these you have to get your mortar stiffer it's got to be stiff you're gonna you know you're gonna spend a little bit more time doing your long spread because everything's stiffer so it, they still pick and dip really well you just got to put the just the right amount of spread on and then you know i don't sweat filling my perts too bad on these because obviously we're trying to limit the drop-ins obviously you see i've got a i've got a 3b2 in the bottom of the cavity so and because a lot of these gables have movement joints these plots have like two movement joints per plot i just run up to the movement joint and then slide the timber out every you know 10 course when the mortar starts building up obviously because i've took over these plots and the tray the you know radon tray bottom tray below is full and solid so there's not much i can do about that uh, but when i do my own plots i'll always be cleaning those out and making sure they're tidy um so when it gets to the end of the of uh, of an inspection you know you know we've just got a bonus on there for keeping everything tidy anyway instead of having to like spend you know a full day cleaning everything or half a day so um yeah these plots you know you get these bricks up pretty good i get in about seven cores in about half an hour um about 200 bricks in half an hour here and then the rest of the day i spent like two hours loading up because my old man Want really? I think he had to. He was had to break off a couple of times today. I had to go get the missus because she had an emergency on at home with the fleas, and then fucking he came back, and then I was loading up my own gear. I'd been getting my own gobbo most of the day, so I ended up using about just about a tub of tub of gobbo. But these are quite a big tubs, so normally get like 400 bricks out of a tub. I think I did about 425 with the corners and step tray. So I didn't think that was too bad of a day, you know, considering it was a bank holiday for after four days off um and then today and then tomorrow i'm gonna uh set my head cam going again uh and get it just alter the angle a bit so you guys can see it a bit better and then i should be able to smash the rest of this gable up which is so i've gone seven so far uh, and i've got 23 to go so seven less 23 is 16 so 16 course on this gable and uh, there's a little window in this for course above banding so i'll reduce it a little bit so i'll get that up and then i'll probably start building another big corner at the front and then i'll do the same again run a big tail tail out round um up to this expansion then tail it round again even bigger so you know that's all i'm going to be doing really and then that's about the cream of this house done. I've just got back and front to fill in, but they're, they're square, obviously. Well, the back's square, and then the front has like a, a dog leg, but it's, it's not too bad. It's just about a two or three brick dog leg. And I should be able to get that up pretty easily, but we've, we're running low on bricks on this side of these red bricks, and both my plots are in these red bricks. So um, I've got two and a half thousand bricks on this scaffold. I've got, I took the last pack of red bricks. Um, because we needed them to finish it basically because i said i'm not going to be jumping to another plot if there isn't the bricks might as well finish the plot i'm on and then when if the new if the bricks arrive in a week in a they, should, they said they're arriving any time but if they arrive in the next few days drop on it then uh because i'm if i ain't got the bricks to square it to wall players no put i might as well try and square this one to scaffold um instead of trying to square another plot to wall plate when I don't really have the bricks uh, because there'll probably be at least a thousand bricks in squaring the other plot to wall plate I would have thought from what I can see uh, because they have three course above and soldiers at the top of these houses they don't just have a, a lintel that sits on so um, that obviously takes extra bricks so we'll see we'll see how everything fares with this plot it is um, it's going to be an interesting one to be honest because 
hopefully you know I don't run out of work but obviously with me and the old man having CSCS cards and uh, me the labourer who doesn't we'll be able to just work around when um, what days we go on other jobs and then what days we stay on this one where you don't need CSCS hopefully there's a lot of other advanced sites where you don't need CSCS so you know gives the other lads a chance to try it out before actually committing to really being a full time labourer so yeah I'm doing this voiceover from a friend's house so it's um, it's been a bit of a stressful few week, a couple of weeks to be honest. So hope it hasn't shown too bad in the videos, but try to be a positive voice for the community. You know, come what may, it's uh, you know I find my days at work so relaxing. You know, family life's the hard bit. It's um, being full time parents. You know, uh, you know me and me and my uh, my fiance. Uh, she, we, you know, we, you know, we're both. She's a stay-at-home mum, and I'm the breadwinner, as per se. And it is harder than you think. You know, we don't get, we don't have a big support system. We don't get lots of support. We don't have uh, grandparents who can have uh, our son. So you know, we're pretty much on our own, and uh, it is harder than you think. You don't get a break. You do not get a break. And uh, my son's very active. <laughs> very active child so um you know it, it it has its challenges so that is why i'm eager to try and get a good oddy uh, with a, with me full time to just because jamie you know he, even though he didn't like it and he, and he jacked up you know he was a fantastic hoddy and he had good potential and he made my life a lot easier uh, so if i can get someone to replicate what he could do in two weeks you know which isn't a big ask you know we shouldn't go far wrong um yeah so but I'm, I'm trying to just you know at the moment obviously taking over these two plots not having the best drops or materials i'm not rushing to get someone in full another hoddy in full time um obviously my dad's doing a couple of days a week you know three or three and a half days or so and then you know we're just working it out with the other hoddy from there um I know you guys give him give give the guys stick in the comments, but you know the footage that I recorded we, were one of his first days, and um, at the end of the day, you know I'm not looking to make any more than I used to do on my own. You know I'm not looking to make much more than you know a thousand to fifteen hundred pound a week. You know it, it's probably you know I have, I could earn more if I wanted, but I'm I'm in that time in my life where I've got I'm busy at home. I just don't have the energy to put full force into it every day. So some days I've just got to, you know, put the family first and finish at two o'clock, you know, and I don't need some super fucking hard carrier, you know, with a silk, silk handkerchief on my balls. I just, you know, I need someone who's, who's just reliable. So, you know, we're not, we're not caning thousands of thousands of bricks in every day, you know, we do if we do over five or six hundred we're doing well and we, and i'm relaxed i'm relaxed for the hours i do and uh you know maybe in a in a year or so or you know i might up you know up the up the workload a bit more but at the moment i just i can only handle what i can handle really you know it, i'm limited to my help as well you know you know if, if i'm getting faster every day but i can only be i'm li limited to my recovery and you know Got other commitments that stop me from really killing my you know attacking and attacking it at work you know i take a more moderate approach as you guys know i've got the ability to really to really smash 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 it but i don't i don't i leave a lot in the tank really every day at work i don't leave it all on the on the scaffold um you just can't do it you know there's there's, there's too much to, it'll fuck your head up trying to work that hard I, i'm a big believer if you know if you're putting that much effort in, you know, it's fucking damaging your mental health. You'll probably get slower and you'll probably get worse at Brick Lane trying to work like that, you know. Just lower your expectations. Just try and earn your day work rate on on price. And if you earn some more, it's a bonus. But don't be aiming for two 2000 a week. Just don't be aiming for su silly numbers like that when, you know, it can only be earned on, on only, you know, specific kinds of work and specific occasions. And I, I know, you know, you'll see guys like... Um, the latest 3000 brick challenge by charlie collison and you know he's got suit three gold dust laborers you know you know laboring on him you know he's got you know all the tools in his trade to 
lay that sort of that sort of number and um it, you know he's he's in the position to be able to fucking smash it like that but it's uh, it's not always possible for everyone you know we're not always as as fast as or have the right runs of work because I've never seen a wall that straight and with no pillars in uh, around you like he built so it's one of those you know you you have to have specific types of work specific you know a specific working environment with the people you're working with and it is it's hard to come by you know I'd love to have a super super fucking super labourer um, but they're not out there. They're not out there, and, and even ones who are you wanting, who are wanting one twenty, one forty a day, they're still not that good. Uh, you know, I've just I've met some hod carriers that, you know, say they're on fucking equal split with a gang, and I've watched them, and they're no better than any. You know, I'm a better. I'm still a better. I'm a fucking ten times better hod carrier than most of them I watch, <laughs> and you guys have seen my oh, load up and stuff. I've worked solo for that long. It's it's something that you know I. I do compare a lot of guys who work with me to myself because I used to be a fucking super hottie like when I started as, a, as an apprentice. I used to labour on three brickies and get on the trowel and fucking get a train and a fucking bus home from site for like three years. So, some, you know, I have, you know, it's one of them. I don't think hog carrying is that hard of a job if you're just willing to, you know, graft and get in front. It's, you know, you can move a pack of bricks in half an hour if you put some effort in even these fucking heavy concrete ones so yeah i had a monstrous hangover on uh on tuesday that's why i didn't go in um and i just didn't want to load out too far in front because with how the sites are going with materials you don't know whether you know it's gonna be you know you're gonna have to go off that site for a week well deliveries arrive or two weeks so and I was just I'm trying to just take it steadier as well. You can't, I can't always kill it, but I'm, I think I was picking up some speed today doing these pick and dips. You know, guys will say what you want, but I wasn't filling the cavity. As you can see, I'm angling my spread back from the cavity side. These cavities are one they're two eight wide, so they're a bigger style cavity, which is quite easier to keep clean. I could have really used a bigger piece of wood, but I find them three by twos easier to get out. They don't flex and snap like the. Uh, like the 4B1s, they tend to snap and you fucking get stuck in your cavity. So 3B2s are the best sort of size, I think. And um, I'm doing extra scrapes on these bricks because they do tend to float around sometimes. So they take a little bit more walling, but I'm getting to the point where, you know, once I get my spread down a little bit more accurately and I get, you know, one of the lads spreading for me, because uh, the old man doesn't spread. He doesn't spread, he doesn't... He doesn't really like pointing these either because that wet, you know, he can't really point them. So, you know, I just have him getting muck and moving bricks these days. You know, there's not many. I don't try and push him really anymore because he's just struggling. And I have seen him decline with his with his hip over the last year or two. And it's just it's not fair. So, you know, you know, he does just a bit of a token day a lot of the time. But, you know, it, is help, it does help. It's better than him not being here because... It, even him getting just getting me bricks of muck it saves me fucking two or three hours a day easy and that you know easily makes his money back and um you know he's you know i i help out getting muck now and again you know mortar whatever you want to call it but it's you know i'm i'm uh i am uh, looking forward to having you know someone you know really looking after me every day uh and not feeling guilty that my old man's only you know killing him since so he'll be doing two days and I'd be good, glad to get them both in on a day where my dad can just load up and then I can get looked after or get other lads spreading and, you know, see how it goes, you know. But it, it should, you know, it, it makes me nothing but money when I don't have to put when I don't have to put the trial down. So that's what I'm happy about. Uh, when it comes to these, you know, these red bricks, you know, one of my mates, I was talking to him about it. He, he works for the same guy I work for and he works on the same sites. And uh, he was saying, how do you keep these bricks get these keep these bricks from smudging you just got to get your mix mega stiff i know it sucks because you know if you're in working because he works in a in a three gang and you know you can't always in always possible when there's three trials on wall but get your muck stiff and then when you point them you just got to point them trowel them off nice soft horse airbrush and then re-stroke them after you've after you've brushed them three stroke them lightly 
um, you know, just get them brush marks off. And I think that does a good job. It, it takes more time pointing them at the end of the day. It, you know, it's easy to initially point them, but then you've got to spend an extra session pointing them to make them look really good. And if they're smudging, it's just because your gobbo's too wet. You've just got to get it stiff as fuck. Like, this is ready mix. And as you can see, this is about a day and a half old. And it's quite stiff. And we've, we haven't added much water to this. And it's still, you know, I'm spreading for the full wall. And then I'm pick, and then I'm doing the long spread pick and dip, basically. doing the pick and dip. Um, less mortar, less mortar in, you know, in on the bricks, to be fair. You know, I don't need a lot of mortar between these concretes. You know, just enough to fill them, them holes in and then keep your you know your rigidity of the wall and then and that's about it i'm really i'm really actually i'm so hyped up i'm doing this for one take as well so you guys are getting this first time uh commentary all the way through as well so but that's how i keep them clean really um and just just be careful when you when you're scraping them take an extra few bit a bit of extra tlc on every brick it, it, it is hard but you know some of mine are smudged and I don't know, you know, I don't know whether the, what if these plots get jet washed or what. Um, I know some firms charge you for the jet washing, but fucking I hope that doesn't fucking happen on here because I can see them into these getting a bit smudgy and they need some brick acid at some point. But, you know, only time will tell. These reds are just one of them things. You just go get stiff mortar. It is more awkward. It does slow you down a bit. Um, but, you know, they go down easy enough. But I, I am using ready mix, so I don't know how it is on silo gear. I'll have to, um, and this paper that gets attached to why it's well annoying. Uh, but yeah, that's the video today, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. A um, bit of a different sort of insight on what's going on, a little update, should I say? Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm getting on, I'm, I'm getting on well on this site. To be fair, for the days I'm working, I'm earning as good as I was before on the old job. Uh, and that's but pretty bad conditions you know i'm not in an, an, an ideal i've not been on ideal drops i've not been on ideal recovery not ideal home conditions everything really so i'm still making um headway i'm still i'm still i'm enjoying it more it's more relaxed a lot more relaxed and stress-free we've just left left the device on a plot um everyone's small gangs on here so it's everyone's you know everyone's in everyone's happy as well you know you meet a one-on-one -on -one gang they're happy you meet a fucking three and one like there is on this site and they're fucking pissed off so you know it's all about making when it's all about everything everyone knows it's all about money but you know if you if you're wanting to make money you reduce that gang size with no point having a big gang these days with the shortage of materials with you know scaffolders not you know being fast enough it depends on obviously to tailored to your site but you know no bigger than two here yeah, no bigger than two brick layers and ideally one and two or one and one if you've got a super labourer and um, it's just a more stress-free way of working you know or two of you are going steady away that's, that's also ideal uh, but obviously you got to get your own gear so that's, that's still a ball ache I won't like to load all my gear out all the time I just do it some of the days when my dad's feeling absolutely not on it so yeah so i do seven course in this video i think there's about 30 bricks in a course up to this expansion so you know that's about 200 bricks in this seven three yeah 200 bricks give or take whatever was already there on the corner um but yeah you can see these concrete bricks lay nice pick and dip if you're looking now to i basically think it's the only way to lay these concrete bricks you know putting a joint on them they're too heavy to pick up and put a joint on just fucking you know the halves are as heavy as some of the full clay bricks i've laid so just put long spread pick and dips the only way to go on these you know get your spread all the way out and uh, i build big corners because these bricks do tend to move and you know with the aluminium profiles you know you, you always want to check them and i find just having a rack back it just keeps your, your corners true it takes a little bit longer than running running you know a full stretch out but if you're on your own build big corners build up to expansion stop end i'm going to put a profile up here tomorrow i think because i built seven or eight cores so I'll just tap some clamps in tomorrow with a... Uh, I'll, t I'll slide that slip tie out and then I'll just put a level up it. I think I might put my six foot level up it and that will give me a, a stop end there. So yeah, I did actually bring my gable profiles up to put across from the block work, but I'll probably do that. Um, I'll probably do that on the other... On the other uh, I'll see what I'll do anyway. I might have to run two lines on the front because I don't have a big enough line to run the gable. 
um, and the well, I could have just run it in. I could just pin it into the pin it into the expansion really, because uh, I can't really run the full length of the game. But I might pin it into the expansion actually. I'll see how things go. So yeah, that's a little clip for me trying to test checking my camera is recording, but so anyway, guys, I'll put a bit of music on for this last few minutes and uh then I'll, I'll i'll try to come back with a, a better topic next next video i'm going to be recording tomorrow and i might make a video tomorrow night if i get time but it's probably going to be probably going to be friday now um because i've got i've got the weekend to myself because uh, um i've got to sort this, this is the pest control thing out so i'm going to be on my own in the house sorting that out and then I'll just be, I'll have quite a bit of time to myself, so I'll probably make some videos and get it out for you guys uh, for the weekend. So thanks all for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Enjoy the support. Um, I enjoy all the positive comments. Try to be positive. I try not to slag my labourers off, please. Um, uh, you know, I know how Britlays are. You know, I am sort of one on my own, whereas, you know, people get pissed off if your labour is not moving. I'm focused on laying my bricks. And when my mortar gets low, as for mortar, when the bricks get low, as for bricks, if the stuff that needs loading, as for it to be loaded. But apart from that, I focus on what I'm doing, not what my labourer is doing a lot of the time. It's probably a downfall of myself as a as a as a manager uh, managing a labourer. But you know, I find I'm in a very particular headspace where if I'm concerning myself with what someone else is doing, I'm not focused on what I'm doing. So that is. A, it's a classic symptom, you know. Obviously, people, you know, if you've got labour, brick laser like you, you're, you're paying their wages. You know, you're taking, you know, a portion of your money and giving it to a labour every day, which you're laying. But once you can get that shit out of your head and just realise that, you know, they're allowing you to do what you're doing, they're allowing you to lay the bricks you're laying. You know, you have it. You just all. It's all in the mind. It's all a mindset thing. So. You know, like with Jamie, I never, ever for one second had the thoughts of, oh, I'm, you know, paying your wages. I just thought, you're allowing me to lay the bricks I need to lay to pay you. So, you know, and that basically made him a better labourer because I was uh, clear-headed when working. I got more done than I think I've ever got done working with him. So I was well happy with that result when uh, when I got a fresh lad. So this hopefully with my new... Uh, Body that's uh, that's doing periodically starting throughout the next couple of weeks and uh, should be full time soon. Uh, hopefully, I can replicate that and uh, lay more bricks than I've ever laid before. So, hit a PB. I've not hit a PB in months. Um, the PB is 9.50. I want to crack a grand. Um, I want to crack a thousand bricks in a day, and I think it's doable. Uh, maybe not on these concretes, but oh, we'll see. We'll see. If I can hit nine, if I can get into the nines again, I'll be well, in, well I'll be well impressed on my own as well you know i'm not a two-in-one gang there's not two trowels there's just me and i think sometimes that is the most daunting task when you're on your own you know just you and a laborer you've got a lot to think about whereas when you've got an extra another bricklayer with you, you've got someone else to keep you accountable and you know stop you forgetting things so uh, you know i do respect guys who can do it all on their own you know it's a it's a hard task Anyway, guys, thanks all for watching. I'm putting a, a, few, a little bit of music for this last few bricks, and I will see you guys in a couple of days with another video. Have a good night.
So we've got 425 bricks in today. Started at half nine. And it's now five, five to five as I, after I finished. Uh, the old tray is on its back. So it's back all the way up, 23 fourths. And ran up to the expansion about seven. You know, not an amazing day. Uh, my old man went with me for a good two and a half, three hours today. It's two and a, an hour he spent we going to pick my missus up and then we were an hour late to work so I was doing a lot of loading out today didn't start at half nine, had a snap at twelve so you know I've done a decent day's graft you know covered me, got about 200 in today but it's uh, good enough and I'll uh, smash the rest of that in tomorrow. Hey guys thanks for watching